This video is sponsored by Y-Food. More on that in a little bit. <laughs> right, good morning and welcome back to the mansion build. A few days ago, me and Drew built the front pillars all the way up to the next scaffold lift. And today we are gonna be working down this alleyway. For now, me and Drew are gonna mix up together, we'll load out together, because it's absolutely freezing. So we wanna try and warm up and wait for the temperature to rise. But as soon as that sun's up, oh, it's gonna be like a summer's day. So we're gonna crack on. The temperature has finally risen up and the sun's blasting. Like I said, it's like a nice summer's day now. So what me and Drew are doing today, we are gonna be blasting up this panel all in brickwork. Now, previously in another video, I mentioned that this panel was all gonna be in block work. However, as people know, when you're building extensions, things are constantly changing. The client came to us and said he wanted it all in brickwork now and he didn't want it rendered. So this is what we're doing brickwork panel going up. Something else you lads might have noticed, this is a nine inch wall. This is because this brickwork, the block work and the joists are all sitting on the existing brickwork of the old house. This is the only original wall which we have left. Because we've not got a cavity, when we send this block work up, it's gonna be battened out, it's gonna be insulated. This therefore will make this a nice warm wall. Another reason we've gone for a 150 mil cavity is to make the overall U value of the house decent because obviously if you've got a nine inch wall you're going to lose a lot of heat however if you've got 150 mil insulation cavity walls everywhere else this is going to counterbalance these colder walls however we are going to batter this out so we shouldn't have any problems a few days ago you heard me speak about this tray detail i was setting up over there and i explained that these three courses aren't going to be shown and that you're going to have some lead going in here However, someone left a comment and it made so much sense that I'm gonna show you guys a different way to do it because it's just so much better. What you do, you put a normal bed under your tray. So a 10 mil bed under your tray. I've still got my upstand here, which is sorted for my weep hole. But now, rather than properly bedding my brick on, all I do, I tap my brick down to the line this allows the roofer to come along and actually grind out this joint and he can actually put the lead detail under the tray without cutting it. Whereas previously, I had the tray banged on the brick, so if he came to grind that out, the tray would actually be under the lead, which you don't want that, you, you want the tray on top of the lead. So this is a, uh, a really good way of doing it, and I forgot who actually mentioned this to me, but thank you very much, I do appreciate it. It's what the whole Brick Lane community is about on YouTube, sharing knowledge, sharing tips. So yes, yes, this is the way I'm going to start doing it from now on. I just looked back through the comments, the people who told me to do this were, were Scott Never and Pedro. So thank you very much for sharing your information, mates. I really appreciate it. about 11 o'clock and the temperature has finally got above two degrees and rising that's ideally when we like to lay uh, this morning when me and drew rocked up and we were trying to just sort the job out it was about minus three weren't it it was absolutely frozen whereas now we're in the sun it is like summer isn't it yeah man. honestly it's lovely so we've got six courses on so far um and we're just going to keep powering through today and get as many bricks down as we possibly can just make good of the weather we've got today. Quick side note, um, obviously we said this is a nine inch wall, didn't we? Come over here, Drew. We... <sighs> now we said this is a nine inch wall, so when I put my ties in, I don't wanna put my ties out fully like that, because if I do that, it's gonna be really hard for me to get the block work in under this tie. So whenever I have a nine inch wall, I always put my ties at a slight angle. This way, you've just got a bit more leverage with your ties. Just a little tip. Right. Get there. 
Let's get that in. As mentioned at the start, this video is sponsored by Y Food. If you guys are anything like me and Drew, you've got a pretty busy schedule, especially when we're trying to lay bricks and we're trying to push jobs along. And that's why Y Food is such an ideal meal replacement. Each bottle contains 500 calories, which is absolutely amazing. I often have it just while I'm at work or most of the time recently, while I'm at the gym or just after the gym, because it also contains 34 grams of protein. Great thing about Y Food is that it comes in over eight different flavors and every flavor is unique and really delicious. Something else I really like about Y Food is that you can have it on the go. This means that you don't have to keep it in the fridge and you can just throw it in your backpack so when you're out and about it's always there for you, a full meal replacement in a bowl. So if you guys like the sound of Y Food and want to support the channel, go show Y Food some love. Use my link in the description to save yourself 10% at checkout and a massive thank you to Y Food once again for supporting the channel. Back to work. It's just gone about 12 o'clock. Uh, Drew just said we've got down 300 and 20. 320 yeah. bricks so far, which ain't too bad for saying we started laying about quarter to 10, maybe 10 o'clock, obviously, with waiting for the temperature to go up. So right now, me and Drew, we're just gonna have five minutes and chill out for a little bit, and then we'll get back to it once again. And we've got a window to set out as well, so I need to remember that. It's just gone about half three. Me and you, Drew are just starting to wrap up all of our brickwork now. We're gonna cover up with some Hessian. Uh, today, it's been a really, really productive day. 600, brick lay, no, 600 bricks laid by me, which is pretty decent. Drew absolutely smashed out mixing up today and loading out. He got about 550, maybe 600 bricks up as well. And something about like 12 mixers. Uh, so just, just loads and loads and loads of mixing by Drew. Um, so right now we are going to wrap up all of our brickwork with Hessian. So whenever the temperature drops below three degrees, we bring out the Hessian, put it on the brickwork like this, and then any frost that would hit the brickwork actually ends up hitting the Hessian instead and therefore doesn't damage any of our brickwork. So we're going to get this wrapped up right now and then we'll come back to you in a little bit because I've got a few more tips with Hessian. Dad. So what I've done, I've wrapped the back of the brickwork, I don't know if you can see that Drew, but I've wrapped the back of the brickwork just to protect it, even though it's not going to be seen, if frost gets to the back of the brickwork, it can damage it really easily. Basically, when frost gets into your mortar, it, all the water particles in the compo expand, crack, and just makes the compo basically really really weak and just no good so that's why I've protected the back, I've also protected the front, now I've put one layer on and I've trapped it on the top but I'm also just wrapping it with a second layer, which is also just gonna drop all the way down to the floor. So the brickwork's like 
triple protected because you can never be too careful. Can you, Drew? No. Nope. Because I don't want the brickwork getting more ruined by bloody frost. Is that recording? Yes. Right, good morning. We are back on the job. Uh, it was really cold last night, minus four in Derby where we were. So proper cold, it's a good job I double hetzienned up this face for it work. Now today I'm working on my own. For those who actually don't know, Drew's got a second job, he's a bouncer. So if you ever go out in Derby, you'll probably see Drew on the door somewhere. Um, <laughs> right, so today we'll be blasting up the rest of this panel, even though at the moment it's about minus two in the shade, you've got to bear that in mind. That sun's come out now, and yesterday I was working in my t-shirt all day on this alleyway, it gets proper warm. I've got this brickwork here which is quite toasty, um, so you've got to bear that in mind in winter. When the sun's out, you can pretty much lay. Um, so I'm going to uncover all the hessian, it's always good to check. Even once it's been covered, just make sure that it's not been frostbitten. Luckily for me, it's actually all right. I also, whenever it's winter, I always cover the, the, the sand up with a couple of tum bags uh, and hessian just to protect the sand from freezing because there's no point even trying to throw a mix on if all your sand is frozen. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on the front of this panel. So just that dog leg down there and then we'll blast down the alleyway in a little bit. Oh, whew, baby. Right, so once again, because I'm working on my own, what I'm doing, I'm going to finish this front up to height. I've got one, two, three, four more courses left. Tell out a big rat back here. And then once I've done that, I'll probably do the same over there for the back. And then we'll get blasting. out the alleyway fully and now we're going to do some blast on this wall i've got a corner up on this end corner up that end so it's time to do some blasting <laughs> There we go. We've got on an extra five courses of brickwork, sorted all the corners out and the returns. So we've had uh, a pretty decent day so far, just saying it's just been me on my own. Uh, the temperature at the moment is just gone about three degrees in the sun, which is pretty much what we are at the moment. So that's not too bad. Um, right now, I'm gonna probably load out, point up, um, and have a big tidy up for the rest of the day. Um, still waiting for the flat roof to go on the back. I've been waiting for about two weeks now. Um, but I'm not going to get into the politics of it. Um, so hopefully Monday we're going to be blasting all the brickwork on the back. We've got loads of windows set out, loads of doors, things like that, as long as I've got a flat roof to work off. I did want a scaffold, but again, I'm not going to go into it. Right, catch you guys on Monday. Yeah, boy. Right, Monday morning, morning. It's Monday. The roof went on over the weekend. However, it's still not been boarded out. 
the join is meant to be coming today at some point to do that. It's also absolutely freezing. It's too cold today. It's minus three in Derby, which means me and Drew are going home. Um, can't do anything anyway. We could load out, but obviously they've not boarded out the roof. So yeah, me and Drew are calling it a day at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we shouldn't have even come in, should we? <laughs> anyway, on that note, we'll catch you in the next one where hopefully it'll be warm enough to blast that back panel up. Uh, and then we've got some lads coming in to blast up all this block work because who wants to touch seven newton concrete blocks anymore? Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram because sometimes I upload daily there. We'll catch you guys in the next one.